हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी एंड बियर लैम्बर्ट लॉ नाउ व्हाट इज स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी एट फर्स्ट वी हैव टू नो अबाउट इट it is the study of the interaction between electromagnetic radiation and matter this matter can be any atoms molecules or ions the electromagnetic spectrum ranges from very short wavelengths like gamma rays to long wavelengths such as radio waves the visible range is approximately 400 to 700 nanometers Now coming to the types of spectroscopy. When the electromagnetic radiation meets the matter, the matter may absorb, emit or scatter the radiation. Depending on which, there are three types of spectroscopy: absorption, emission and scattering. Today we will talk about only absorption spectroscopy. The basic principle of absorption spectroscopy is when a beam of a monochromatic light passes through a solution or a matter some of its radiation may be absorbed. This absorbance is measured with the help of an instrument known as spectrophotometer. Beer-Lambert's law is based on two different laws. The Lambert's law states that when a monochromatic light passes through a transparent medium, the intensity of transmitted light decreases exponentially as the thickness of absorbing material increases. whereas beer's law states that the intensity of transmitted monochromatic light decreases exponentially as the concentration of absorbing substance increases the beer lambert's law can be expressed mathematically by the formula a equals to log i0 by i equals to epsilon cl whereas a refers to the absorbance I0 is the intensity of incident light I is the intensity of transmitted light epsilon is the excitation coefficient which is constant for a particular matter C is the concentration of the sample and L is the length of the path T refers to the transmittance which is expressed by the ratio of I and I0 If we derive the relationship of absorbance with the percent transmittance from the above formula we get absorbance is equal to 2 minus log base 10 percent t So in spectrophotometer you can get both the reading of absorbance and transmittance. Now see if we increase the sample concentration the absorbance increases while the transmittance decreases. However if we increase the path length the absorbance increases and the transmittance decreases further. Now coming to the application of spectrophotometer. For example, we are taking protein estimation. Suppose you have a sample of unknown protein concentration and you want to estimate its concentration. First, you have to take a series of known concentrations of protein along with a blank. Now, you will add reagents to all the tubes.
The protein will give color after reacting with the reagents. The color intensity is directly proportional to the protein concentration. Now you have to measure the absorbance of each known concentrations of proteins along with your sample. When you plot those readings in a graph, it will give you a standard curve. From the standard curve, the value of one absorbance is calculated. Now using this formula, you can calculate the protein concentration of unknown samples. Apart from protein estimation, spectroscopy is used to measure DNA or RNA concentration in enzymatic assays, in ELISA or measuring any concentration of molecules which give any color of the UV visible range when in a solution. If you like our video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe our channel and press that bell icon right next to the subscribe button so that you get notified every single time we upload a video.